Hey everyone, it's Nancy Ann and Ruger is down here, my dog. Today I am going to be unboxing, trying on, and reviewing my January Stitch Fix. Come join me. Well, there's my old boy Ruger and I just gotta tell you, I'm really happy to be filming this Stitch Fix for you today. I put on a community post that I hadn't been feeling very well lately. We had COVID over Christmas and I have had a terrible time kind of kicking the exhaustion and some nasal congestion from it. So if I sound a little stuffy or I'm sniffing a little bit, that's why. Sam is being treated for pneumonia, so we're having a really good time over here. But I did want to film a stitch fix for you. I think my style pass is going to run out, and if I'm understanding the rumors correctly, they won't be renewing those. So this is probably my last stitch fix on the style pass, and I wanted to make sure I got one done. But everybody likes stitch fix and i like stitch fix so i'm real happy to get into this and thank you guys by the way for the thoughts and the prayers as far as getting well i'm a little bit tired but i'm really really happy to be recording for you today so stitch fix is a styling service i think everybody uh, on the planet knows about it um, if you don't i will have all of the details in the drop down box if you want to skip past the unboxing portion and you just want to get right to the try on we will put the time down here uh, do not have any credit with them this time, so uh, nobody's used my code. But honestly, I think all of my viewers who can use my code have used my code, and I really want to thank you if you have in the past. It's just been a tremendous help, and you've been such a blessing. If they are going to do away with the Style Pass for me, I'm interested in seeing what their rewards and incentive program will be going forward. In this box, I did request, I said I'm still looking for black joggers as a particular pair of glider joggers that I would like to try. And I also said I could use a white cardigan. Other than that, I just told her, I think, to give me some comfy, casual styles because that's really all I'm wanting to wear here lately, especially since I haven't been feeling so good. I'm seeing something white on the top, so I'm hopeful that will be a white cardigan. There's our little bundle. Of course, I have my return mailer. Uh, shipping both ways is free. Of course, $20 styling fee that gets applied back towards anything you keep. Then we have my Oh Hello card with the stylist note right there. I'll read that off camera. I think that can be a little boring for you. And then in here is the invoice and I will cover that at the end so it does not influence my opinion about the clothes. Uh, pretty sure the joggers aren't in there, but I do recognize a pair of very casual joggers with stars on them that I had chosen, put on my wish list. You know, you put the little, you flag them and say, I like this. And the stylist can actually see what you put on your wish list and then they can choose from that if they can find that it is in stock. Uh, in the in warehouse that they're working out of, I think they probably would have sent me the glider joggers I want by now, but they probably aren't available in the Indianapolis warehouse. So first up, we have, oh it is, it's a white cardigan. Now this is off-white, and honestly, I was kind of hoping for a true white, but I don't know, maybe this will work. It's by Market and Spruce. Their prices are usually pretty darned reasonable. We have a Threads for Thought, again, always reasonably priced on this. This is just a long sleeve, oh, very soft, crew neck, blue top. I'm not always big on crew necks, but sometimes I like them depending on how soft they are and this neck might not be real close up. So we'll see how that one works. She really went in for the comfy with this. She really did. She, she laid heavy into the comfortable and I'm really glad about that. So now we have a pair of gray joggers. These do not have the uh, elastic around the leg. I'm not sure how I'll like those, but we'll take a look. There's a single pocket in the back brand on this. This is by We Wander. I don't know that I've ever had anything by that brand before. These are the ones that were on my wish list. I just kind of liked them. I thought they were cute and I was curious. Oh, I didn't realize they're thermal. These are thermal. These are pajama bottoms, as I remember. I actually could use new pajama bottoms. Please tell me they sent them an extra, they, it is, it's an extra large. Uh, if you remember my last fix, I believe it was, all of the pants were enlarged and they were joggers and they were too tight for me. So, it's by a brand called Seeing Stars. I probably wouldn't ever wear that out, but it sure would be nice for sleeping at night. This, this fix has a decidedly blue theme to it. 
And then we have, by Michael Starrs, a pair of long sleeve navy joggers. Now that could be a real possibility. So there we go. Those are my five pieces from Stitch Fix. I will be back in just a second for the try on. Well, I lost Ruger. He decided he was going to ditch me and go see if daddy had something better to offer. Well, I did read the stylist note. My stylist name this time is Jen. I appear to have permanently lost Ray, who I really liked. Rayanna was her name. She was terrific. Um, not sure if she's gone, if they shifted people around or what happened, but I will say that Jen has tried very hard to hook me up with some kind of comfy pair of joggers since it was really obvious that comfort was my number one request when it came to this box. Let's start out with this blue top. The first thing I'll say is this in, is indeed comfortable. It's really soft and I absolutely love that. That's about where my loves of the top end. I don't think this length is particularly flattering on me. Uh, when they scoop under my butt kind of tight like that with that, that uh, little hem right there, it just, I think, brings attention to my widest part. So I think I'm going to pass on this one. It does have a little crossover here. The, the ribbed bottom crosses over and then goes around and then reattaches underneath. So it's a really cute look. I think if I had slimmer hips, I would like this a lot better. I'm also not particularly wild about this, this shade of blue on me. I think it's a little too dusty. I tend to do better in clearer type of blues, if that makes any sense. Let's move on to the joggers. Now these are a size large and I really need an extra large. I think in joggers, I'm gonna turn around real quick for you. They're just too snug. If I wanted to keep them, I would go up to an extra large. I think I would had in mind though to get joggers with the band around the bottom of the ankle, around the ankle. Uh, I think I'm looking for a more traditional type jogger. So I think I will pass on that. I am gonna try the cardigan on though. She managed to find me a white cardigan. She thought the styling was real cute. She called this a midi length. I thought that was only a skirt term. So let's see what we think, although I will say, I don't think with this, <laughs> with this top, it's gonna be the most flattering length. Probably get a better representation of this if I had it on with an actual pair of jeans or a shirt that's shorter. There we are, all buttoned up. Normally I do take a medium in cardigans, but I asked to size up to a large for this, and she, she obliged me, I'm glad she did. Um, I just want cardigan Nowadays, I'm not looking for things as fitted as I used to. And since the name of the game right now is comfort, I thought a large would be more comfortable. Nice long sleeves. Uh, I'm, I'm cuffing them as we speak. We've got the contrasting buttons go down. I think maybe I would have preferred those in white. Do they look a little cheap? They're the tortoise shell. You tell me, they're not super oversized. I do like the fit a lot. It's very lightweight. I think maybe I had in mind something a little bit heavier. Cute look, on the right track. Not exactly sure this is what I'm looking for. Let me come back with another pair of bottoms. I thought I was going to remove this top. It's driving me crazy because there's a tag back there that's making me itchy. But I, I failed to notice that it has thumb holes and I thought I would show you that. So that's another nice feature of this really comfortable top. The more I'm wearing it, the more I'm wishing just because of the way it feels and because of the thumb holes that it would have worked out. And before I forget, the shoes I have on, these are my get dressed tennis shoes. They're the not athletic ones that I just wear for, for fashion. Um, these came from Fitville. I have done several reviews for them. Love those shoes. I will leave a link to these shoes if they're still available down below along with my discount code. I believe I still have a 30% off discount code for anything you purchase from their site. And I'll try to get find the link to that video as well for you. Uh, love Fitville shoes. Total aside, uh, my son BJ is having uh, a lot of foot problems. He's the one who has Down syndrome. And we went and saw a podiatrist and he took a look at BJ's Fitville shoes that I got him. And he said, I love that wide toe box. I love the fabric. Those are great shoes. So he really liked them. So I have a podiatrist approved on the Fitville. Okay, that was chasing a rabbit trail. Let's get back to the joggers. 
I have been looking for really black joggers. These are navy. I think she did great sending them to me. They're Michael Stars. They're gonna probably have a little bit of a higher price tag. They do tie in the front. They have pockets. They're very soft and comfortable. I love the length and they are an extra large, which is really what I need. But you know what? They are still too tight or tighter than I would prefer for joggers. You're not gonna be able to see um, the cellulite that's <laughs> kind of pressing through the fabric because the fabric is thin, but I can see it. But I think joggers should more drape off my butt than cling to my thighs. So I'm still on the hunt for joggers, but they're real cute. I love the traditional styling too. I just wish they would have fit. And I'm sitting here thinking I really need to drop some weight because an extra large should not be tight on me. So that was another rabbit trail. <laughs> let's just get away from all the rabbit trails and let's go ahead and try on the last piece, which is piece, which is these pajama bottoms. I'm starting to rethink this cardigan. I didn't want to put the sweater on that I had at the intro because I knew it wouldn't look right with this. So I just pulled the, pulled the cardigan on by itself and buttoned it. It's really soft to even up against my skin. So depending on the price, I don't know. I think it might be a possibility. But let's just go ahead and talk about the pajama bottoms. They're a jogger style. These are really soft and comfortable. And I think these fit the way a jogger is supposed to fit more so than the last ones. A Little bit clingy, but it doesn't feel like it's gripped to my thighs going around. So I'll take a look at the footage, but you know what? The footage doesn't really matter. I would never wear these outside the home and probably only as pajamas, but I need a new pair of comfortable pajama bottoms. They've got these really cute little stars. I don't know if you can see all over them on the navy background. And I also think they're cute with the cardigan. I think if I put the tennis shoes on, they would probably look really nice. Let me grab those real quick. I just want to show these up close to anyone who is curious about them. I'm not an affiliate with Fitville, believe it or not. I'm just completely sold on their shoes. People have heard me, if you've been around for a while, you've heard me talk about Fitville before. They have a wide toe box and a lot of them are designed for people with wide feet and with different type of foot conditions like plantar fasciitis. I have Morton's Neuroma. These have been a big blessing in my life and the prices aren't outrageous. So go, go check that video out and the link if you are in need of a pair of athletic type or very casual shoes at a really nice discount. Okay, I'm going to pull it in close. We will take a look at prices and see what I might keep. I'm pretty sure these are staying. I just decided to keep the cardigan on. It is very comfortable and if the price is right, I think I actually am going to keep this. That way I can just keep it on and walk it upstairs. Plus the microphone works better than it did with the sweater I was wearing on the intro. So win-win for me. All right, I was actually thinking that this fix might wind up being a bust, but we have two possibilities, the cardigan and the star pajama bottoms slash jogger. So let's, let's get a look into prices. Sorry about any glare from my glasses. I need them to read, at least read correctly. We've all seen me make some silly mistakes when I wasn't wearing my glasses. Alrighty, so first of all, we have the Jenny Jogger Pant by Michael Stars. That's this one in navy, size extra large. Woohoo! $128. Yeah, no, these could have been perfect and I probably would have sent them back for that price. Then we had the Market and Spruce Elena Ribbed Button Down Cardigan, I'm assuming, in white, size large 54. Mm -hmm. I really wanted true white, but I like this and it's comfortable. Oh, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to keep it. But I love this cardigan, and if you're looking for a real comfortable, lightweight cardigan, I would recommend this one. Then we have the We Wander Cody High Rise Straight Leg Flare or something in dark gray. Let me see if it has a description here. Ah, fleece pant, not flare, fleece pant. This size large. I'd have liked them better if they were extra large. These are 58. That's a reasonable price on them. They did have pockets, by the way, as well as that single pocket in the back that I showed at the unboxing. Um, a fine quality pant. Again, I was really hoping for joggers that had the banding at the ankle. And then we have the Thea Seeing Stars, Thea Sleep and Lounge Velour, Velour, 
thermal leggings. So these are thermal. These are comfortable. I love them. Please don't be $128. They're $34. <laughs> these are staying. They're $34 for a subscription box. That's a great price. Yep, those are mine. Okay. And then we have the Threads for Thought Parscarelli Feather Fleece. Let's look at the tag on this one too. Parscarelli Feather Fleece Tunic Pullover. Size blue, large, and this one is 58. So with Stitch Fix, if you keep all five items, you save 25% off of your purchase. If I wanted all five, the original price would have been 332. With that 25% buy all discount, it would have brought it down to 249. Of course, this puppy right here is the thing that made this the price on this go up so so high otherwise she did a really good job at keeping the prices down which i did not ask for but still uh, this would have been a very reasonably priced fix so i think the only thing i'm going to keep is the thermal jogger sleep pants i love these they're very comfortable uh, i probably will have already made up my mind by the time we get this out since sam is still has some lingering pneumonia and I'm not 100%. It's probably going to take us a few days to get this out. And I think I'm just going to pack this up. And next time one of us goes out, we're going to get this shipped off as soon as we can. Uh, because we're not going out so often these days. But I do want to thank you for watching my January Stitch Fix. I think I might also, also ask for a quick turnaround box uh, with this before my Style Pass runs out so if you're not familiar style pass uh, they offer it to people after they've been with stitch fix for a while 49 dollars for the whole year that 49 does apply back towards anything you keep and then you get unlimited unlimited fixes with no 20 dollars styling fee so uh, apparently that's coming to an end and i'm sad about that hopefully they'll come out with something better but that's it that is my very first video of 2024 my stitch fix let me know what you think i absolutely love interacting with you guys if you could squish that like button for me that does help the video a whole lot especially because i haven't put a video out in a while and so this one's gonna probably struggle a little bit again love the comments and if you subscribe i will see you on the next video bye bye and be blessed I lost Ruger, first of all. <laughs> he decided he went, no, I don't like the, <laughs> that was, that was hokey. Well, I lost Ruger. He decided he wanted to go hang with daddy for a while, but I'm here. I read the stylist, no, that was corny too. Let's try one more time. Well, I lost Ruger. He decided he wanted to go spend some time with daddy, but I, I am back with two, no, that was also bad. Jeez Louise.